Remember back in the days before the Max disasters and the pandemic, when it seemed like every other day there was a new video on YouTube about the new Boeing 797 and how it was soon going to be coming to an airport near you. Then after the Max crisis in 2019, Boeing decided to shell the eminent 797 in order to focus all their attention on the return of the MAX. And so many at the time thought the hopes of the new Boeing mid-sized jet had been dashed. Then early in 2020, when Boeing's new CEO Dave Calhoun came on board, he realized that the MAX program was progressing towards its eventual safe return. So on a January 2020 conference call with reporters, Calhoun suddenly reopened the Boeing NMA door once again. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Calhoun said since the first clean sheet of paper was taken to it, things have changed a bit. The competitive playing field is a little bit different, he told journalists. But then he said, referring to Boeing's NMA, we're going to start with a clean sheet of paper again. And I'm looking forward to that, Calhoun said. Well, fast forward to today in 2021, and it appears that Calhoun has been true to his word because the industry is now all abuzz with word that Boeing's NMA option is back. I'm back. And this time it looks like they're going to build it. That's next on Maximus. Okay, right off the top, I want to address the knuckleheads who are going to point out that I put a 787 in a thumbnail. Of course, I know I did. Because A, there are no pictures of a plane that doesn't exist yet. And B, I think Boeing's new jet will look very much like the 787 when it's finally produced. Which also makes me think, why not just build more 787s instead of a completely new airplane? But that's a video for another day. Yeah, there are some renderings online of the 797, and I'll drop some of them in this video simply due to the fact that there aren't any renderings available to use, but I really don't think the end product will look like those old internet renderings. But instead, as I said, I think it will look very much like the 787. What do you think? Let me know down below. So back in January of 2020, Calhoun had ordered up a new study on what kind of aircraft was needed. Historically, a new aircraft typically takes six to seven years or more to bring the market once a decision has been made to produce it. However, Boeing hopes to shorten that production time in part through digital technology and new business models designed around the NMA. Back then, Calhoun had asked the team to do an assessment of the future market and what kind of airplane is needed to meet the future market demand. So now fast forward to today. Boeing appears to be moving forward with its plans to produce an all-new airliner intended to compete head-to-head -head with the Airbus A321 XLR. And despite the current costs and downturn market, according to Aviation Week, Boeing has been reaching out recently to suppliers and vendors about the new NMA venture. However, Boeing doesn't just want to compete with the A21 XLR. They want to surpass the XLR by utilizing a twin aisle design instead of a single aisle that will have a range of 5,000 nautical miles. However, Boeing hopes to develop its new twin aisle jet at single aisle prices. Boeing's airliner program is believed to be progressing under the code name of the Dash 5, and it appears to be a continuance of Boeing's NMA project stalled in 2019. As with the NMA project, Boeing is looking at a 250 to 275 seat category in a two class twin aisle configuration. The NMA was always considered to be a replacement for the 757 series, but with a range of up to 5,000 nautical miles. As it now stands, the new aircraft is projected to enter into service by the late 2020s. According to Aviation Week, industry sources say the program goals stress design simplicity and low cost. To minimize development investment and time to market, the company aims to maximize the use of existing structures, systems, and engine technology, much of it already studied for the previous NMA project. 
However, Boeing declined to comment on the specifics and says it doesn't have anything to add to remarks made on January 27th by company CEO David Calhoun, who hinted at continuing studies of the new aircraft project. Earlier in January 2021, during Boeing's end-of-year 2024th order earnings call, Boeing CEO David Calhoun said, An A321-sized competitor is pretty much the right space with respect to where our next development efforts lean. Calhoun said we are really progressing well on our engineering and manufacturing technology development so that we're ready when the moment comes to offer a really differentiated product. So I'm sure it's not a lot of rocket science for you to add up and guess where things will end up. So it's safe to assume by Calhoun's comments that rather than replace the smaller six-decade-old 737 series, Boeing will instead be focusing on producing the new twin-aisle jet as the replacement for the mid-range 757. As far as the twin-aisle cabin layout is concerned, there isn't much officially available to go on. As you can see from the renderings from a few years ago when the 797 designs were being discussed, there are multiple ways to configure a twin-aisle fuselage. So whether it ends up a 2-2, a 2-3-2, or even a 1-2-1, that has yet to be seen. Originally, when Boeing was considering the NMA 757 replacement, they also were considering replacing her sister ship, the 767, as well. Some of you may recall early in 2019, there was a lot of excitement in the industry about the two new NMA concepts. The first, codenamed NMA-6X, was a proposed 228-passenger medium-range version with a 5,000 nautical mile reach. The sister ship, the NMA-7X, was a proposed two-class 267-seater with an estimated 4,200 nautical mile range. But just as Boeing was officially getting ready to pull the trigger on the new designs, tragedy struck with the second crash of the new Boeing flagship 737 MAX, followed by the grounding of the project. That, coupled with the worldwide pandemic, which forced the grounding of almost all airlines around the world, left Boeing in no financial position to move forward with the NMA project at that point, especially considering the uncertain future of the MAX at that time. Aviation Week points out that under the original NMA plan, the larger variant dubbed internally the 7K7-7X was provisionally targeted at entry into service in 2025. Now the revised plan is thought to be aimed at entry into service of the 5X in the late 2020s pending a potential production order in 2022 or 2023. But if the 777X is any indication, those numbers are overly optimistic. As with the original NMA design, the updated version will still incorporate the composite wing and fuselage technology innovated by the 787 Dreamliner program and more currently in use on the 777X. The new plane will also incorporate the same high bypass ratio 50,000 pound thrust class CFM engines. Aviation Week also said that the extended Boeing-5 service entry timetable could also potentially provide an opportunity for Rolls-Royce to re-enter the contest with a version of their ultrafan engine. Rolls-Royce withdrew its engine bid on the NMA back in 2019 due to scheduling concerns. However, now with the new timeline of the late 2020s, this may give Rolls-Royce the time they need to get their new ultrafan engine back in the bidding for Boeing's new jet. Despite Boeing's $12 billion loss in 2020, industry analysts believe the company will be able to manage the research and development funding for a new program. Rob Springarn, Credit Suisse Global Head of Aerospace Defense Equity Research, says it's not like they need to come up with $25 billion all at once. Speaking to Aviation Week, Springarn added that they could spend 2 to $3 billion a year. He projects that Boeing's cash situation will improve as max production and deliveries resume and demand returns in the coming years. There's going to be a renaissance at some point, he says, and that is going to generate cash flow that can fund the next airplane. Yeah, I know what a lot of you are thinking. There are a lot of ifs in that story. But I think in order for Boeing to remain competitive long term, they need to take on Airbus head on 
and especially when it comes to the A321 XLR. And I think if done right, this new NMA can be the plane to do it. Still, there are more questions than answers at this point about the future of a new Boeing jet. But hopefully this can also be a way for Boeing to bring back many of the thousands of employees they have laid off in the past two years. But hey, if you're an aviation enthusiast, and you must be because you're watching Maximus Aviation, then I think you're going to find this news exciting. If not, I'm sure you're going to let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, before you go, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. And check out our merch shop while you're at it. The links are in the description. And as always, remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus. <laughs>